Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the 21, no, it's just called the 20 questions tag. That was a good start. This was created by Steve Donahue, and I was tagged by Steve Partridge, so all of the Steves. Uh, links to both of their videos below, definitely check them out. I'm sure you've heard of Steve Donahue, and if you're not following Steve Partridge, you're missing out. Uh, he lives in Berlin as well, which I always think is fascinating, because I love Berlin. Don't I, Biggie? I love Berlin. You've still got this fluff ball there. What are we going to do about that fluff ball, eh? Okay, so this is the 20 questions tag. Are you going to help me, Biggie, or are you going to look at me funny? <laughs> uh, and let's just jump in. So, question one. What's the nearest place to you that's so famous everybody knows it? And how near is it? Well, High Wycombe's about halfway between Oxford and London. So, it would probably be something in either of those. The most famous thing that I'm particularly close to is um, the Hellfire Caves in West Wycombe. Uh, where Lord Dashwood used to go and uh, spooky goings on used to go down there. I actually, um, I wrote about the Hellfire Caves um, for a short story which is going to be in an anthology called Local Haunts which is a bunch of booktubers and author tubers in. Uh, so yeah, you can learn more about that in that I guess. It's not so famous everybody knows it. I guess the thing that's nearby that Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to attack me big. I guess the closest thing nearby that everybody knows would be something like Buckingham Palace or the Tower of London, wouldn't it? Question number two. Have you ever had a paper cut so bad you thought you might die of it? I have not. Um, I've had my fair share of paper cuts, I guess, but, you know, it would have to be a pretty severe paper cut to make you think you might die of it. Question three. Have you ever found anything genuinely valuable in a used book you bought? No, I don't think so. Um, Nothing springs to mind. Question number four. Have you ever read, met, or married Jacques Barzun? I have never even heard of Jacques Barzun. Who's Jacques Barzun? Question number five. Aside from your pets, what is the specific non-human animal you see most often? It would probably be, um... Oh, it would be seagulls. And I don't live near the sea, but there's just loads of them. Well, it's a misnomer. They're just gulls, aren't they? Um... And there's a lot of them, they, they tend to be up on the roof of the art centre quite often. Question number six, have you ever been inside a cathedral? If more than one, do you have a favourite? I've been in a few, man, but I, I can't tell you, I can't remember which ones. I don't know, I can't remember which cathedrals I've been in, but I've definitely been in a few. Uh, I'm not particularly religious, so I tend to more like cathedrals because of uh, the architecture and stuff. Oh, where was it? I went to one. It was when we when we went to Stonehenge, so it was that neck of the wood. Is Salisbury? Has Salisbury got a cathedral? I went to that one. That was alright. <laughs> Question number seven. Have you ever been actually seeing and hearing things delirious? Uh, yes. <laughs> and I can't say why because it's illegal. We'll just, we'll just say yes um, and move swiftly on. Question number eight. Do you have blood relatives who read for pleasure? Yeah, I do. Um, my mum reads a lot for pleasure, my uncle reads a lot for pleasure, uh, my gran reads quite a lot, my dad used to read a lot, he used to read a lot of sci-fi and stuff, but I don't think he reads much anymore. Um, and a lot of my friends as well um, are really into reading too. Question number nine, how many species have you smooched smack dab on the lips? I don't know, um, I don't count, but humans, cats, dogs, and probably some others. Question number 10. Do you ever listen to the radio? Any favourite programme or person? Um, I have a radio show and I still don't really listen to the radio. When I do, on the very rare occasions I do, I listen to Wickham Sound, which is our local community radio station. Um, but even then, I, I don't actually li even listen to music that much anymore, to be honest. I mostly just watch YouTube. Question number 11. Have you ever been to the Eiffel Tower? The Leaning Tower of Pisa? The Louvre? I've been to the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. I, th I think I might have gone up it actually when I was a kid, um, but I definitely remember being at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and outside the Louvre. I don't, again, I don't know if I've been in it. Um, I mean, the last time I was outside both the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre was one of my work away days in about 2015, 2016 or something. Um, I haven't been to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Question number 12. What little thing do you miss most that you've lost due to the pandemic? Uh, probably open mic nights, um, just being able to go and play some music and hang out with my friends and stuff. They're kind of getting to a stage where we're going to be able to start having them again, but um, 
even then it's not going to be the same, you know, we're still going to have to obey social distancing and stuff. And even things like um, people are going to have to use, bring their own microphones and you can't share instruments and all this stuff. Question number 13, what little thing do you miss least that you've lost due to the pandemic? There isn't really anything that I miss least, man, like... Everything has been a loss, you know what I mean? Like, because I think a lot of people here will say like, oh, we'll having to go to the office all the time and stuff. And it's like, well, I always work from home anyway. But at least when I used to work from home, I used to be able to go out and socialize in the evening, you know? So, there's nothing really that I miss least. Question number 14, what's your relationship with small talk? Hate it like acid, love it, merely competent. I mean, I can do it, but I don't really like it. Uh, I tend to be quite directed to the point. Question number 15, have you ever won money at gambling? I mean, possibly like little things. Uh, I've, I never played the lottery or anything. Um, we have, we've had like pools and stuff, like World Cup pools at work where you all put in a pound and you choose like a name out of the hat and stuff. Although even then I don't remember ever winning. I've won a few raffles actually. Um, and also, it, right, so it depends on your definition of gambling because <laughs> uh, if you count investing in cryptocurrency, then I made about 1800 quid on Bitcoin about two, three years ago when I first went freelance. I'm currently actually on a profit again with some cryptocurrency uh, and some shares as well. So if you count that as gambling, I've made money at it. Question number 16, do you ever give money or time to charities? So I used to do a lot of volunteering at the local arts center. Um, I'm now employed by them, but basically the rate they pay is a quarter of what my normal hourly rate is. So, um, you know, I write off a lot of that as kind of volunteering time. Um, do I, I mean, I don't tend to specifically give to charities other than that. Um, my mum actually has uh, sponsors a guide dog uh, in my name. And uh, obviously I spend a lot of money in charity shops as well. Question number 17, do you craft? Knitting, crocheting, woodworking, pottery throwing? Um, I've done a couple of paintings, those are mine, and um, I've been working out on my garden as well, um, and so actually I've done a little bit of good woodwork for that and been growing a lot of plants and stuff, but that's about it. Question number 18, do you talk to yourself when you're alone? Yeah, I talk to myself when I'm alone, and I also talk to myself in front of other people, like to the point at which I've seen people like turn and laugh at me because they've overheard something I've said to myself. Question number 19, were you slash are you a social queen bee in college? Well, Steve's American, so that means university. Um, my college was when from the age of 16 to 18, um, a lot of British people alternatively you can go to sixth form as well. Uh, and I guess it's kind of equivalent to senior year at uh, high school. And like sixth form is basically an extension of high school, but I went to college, which was different. I studied uh, B-Tech in computing. Uh, and then for my university, which is an American college, I went to Roehampton University in London. I don't know why I said it like that, in London. Um, was I a social queen bee? No, I was a drunk, basically. Uh, question number 20. Are you a sunrise person or a sunset person? A sunset person? I mean, I'm a night owl. I quite often see both the sunset and the sunrise and then go to bed shortly after the sunrise. I don't know which I prefer, probably sunsets I think. So there we have it, that was the 20 questions tag. I'm going to do what I normally do when it comes to tagging people, so I'm going to look at my uh, channel comments and tags, I don't know, let's tag five people who've recently commented. So uh, Cats and Camera, she is the first, the chosen one. Uh, Native Lady Book Warrior, I've been tagging her quite a lot recently I think. <laughs> uh, too Fond of Books. Big Hard Books and Classics, and Raja Thon. So there we have it, that's my take on the 20 question tag. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Hit that like button if, if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye